Hello, bookish friends in the internet. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew, and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. It is the second to last day of January, so happy almost February to all of those, to all of you guys. Uh, I am here with an exciting video that I love to do every single month, and that is... It's time for my monthly Owl Crate unboxing. Woohoo! So, if you guys don't know what this company book company is by now I don't know where you've been the last few years I've been with Owl Crate since 2017 I think it was and that's been a long time coming um so I cannot wait to see what their January box has in store for us um I know they're starting to do a new uh monthly collector's pen and I've seen a sneak peek of it on their Instagram and it looks really pretty so I cannot wait to see it in person. That's the only item I spoiled myself with because I was curious to see how it was gonna go this year. Um and I know there's a bunch of like newer stuff that they're doing this year as well. Um and I kind of forgot what the theme was for January but this is our owl crate box. There's always one new hardcover, sometimes two, and five to six goodies in the box each month. And it's just fun to like unbox and discuss each of the items. So without further ado, without you guys seeing my address, we have my keys as always. Try and unbox this. And I hope none of these items are wet because they were in my mailbox. And our mailbox was getting rain slash snowed on. And yes, you heard me correctly. It snowed in Vegas today. It was crazy. You guys will, will see it in a vlog coming up. But anyways, jumping back into this. We have the box on open. It says guide to unboxing. If you give two hoots. <laughs> um, and then it also says... Snap, photograph, and film your unboxing experience. Share, show off your treats to the Owl Crate community. And snuggle up, get cozy, and enjoy your new book. I am so excited. I can't wait to see what's going to be in this box. So I'm going to set the box off to the side here. Let me move some things around. That way they don't get knocked over. So first up I see is the monthly spoiler card right here. That just says Owl Crate. Oh yeah, it says Courting the Fae. That's the theme. There's the spoilers if you want to read about it. Um, very excited. At first, I thought this was going to be The Stolen Air by Holly Black, which is what I'm currently reading. Uh, but it's not, sadly. It would have been cool, though, because they did uh, all of others, Holly Black's books in the Cruel Prince universe. Anyways, let's just jump into it. So the first item I see... Ooh, is the Treasured Tomes Limited Edition Pin Collection, The Cruel Prince, 1 of 12, January 2023. Ooh, so cool. Look how neat this is. I'm excited to see this because, like you guys know, I love Holly Black and I love the Cruel Prince series. So let's see what this is. Ooh, it's a shape of a book as well. That's pretty. So we have jude's sword on there oh, it opens up too that's pretty so it says jude and it has her name multiple times in it so that is pretty yes i love that and it still has like the little magnet not magnets but the like pins on the back that way i can put them on my pen banner it's been a while since i done that but i'm really excited to see what the rest of these pins are going to look like. Uh, next thing I see here. I see this giant box in here. So. Oh. So there's this green owl crate box. It says Flora and Faye travel mug. Navigating court po politicals and bargain. From dreamy and coming cutting fey strangers without coffee sounds like an absolute nightmare use this travel mug to keep yourself caffeinated through enough to survive the scheming of the unseelie court officially licensed and inspired by kj sutton's fortuna sworn 
uh, series, artwork created with love by Amimi McIllustrated, Mac Illustrated. Um, I don't know the Fortuna Sworn, but I'm assuming it has to do with fairies. So let's open this box up. Oh. So creepy. So yeah, we have this nice little travel mug, which I have another one from Owl Creek that's actually on my bookshelf, uh, right over there at the bottom that you can't see. And I never use that one, so maybe I'll start using these now that I have two of them. Um, but here's this pretty green with a bunch of plants and mushrooms and whatnot on it. Very, very cute. And nothing on the inside, but just thought that you guys might be curious. So yeah, this is one of the like fancy items that can be reusable. So that is always fun. Not me struggling with the lid. <laughs> Next item is this. It says everyone in the forest waited with an endowment breath waiting for the taste of adventure. Oh, it's a um, measuring tape. Interesting. How do I put it back in though? <laughs> oh, you put it back in the normal way. Haha. -ha. Knew that. I don't know what this quote is from. Um, let's see. Spoiler card come in handy. Let's see. Um do do. Oh, the tape measuring is features a quote and a gorgeous design inspired by an enchantment a raven perfect for making human crafts and for journeys across fake kingdoms. Love that. Uh, I have not read an enchantment of ravens, but it's on my TBR for February. So I'm excited to read and see if I can point that quote out. Now I have to, I'll put everything back in after the video. <laughs> Uh, next I see is this item. I think this might be a tote bag, which is awesome because I use all my tote bags and I need more of them. So let's see. Ooh. It says, finest selections in the fairy realm. And then it's a uh, Durette and Greenbearer booksellers. Isles of Ensign Elfheim. New and second-hand and antiquarian fave fiction, rare mortal literature, and more. So this is the based off the uh, bookshelf from the Cruel Prince series. That is beautiful. I would absolutely use this. Uh, green is not my color, but I know my mom will love this. Ooh, there's like zippers inside too, so you can like zip it up for like day like today how it was raining could have used this um for my book earlier today that is so cool so yeah i'll definitely use this one so that's awesome i don't know where to put it i'm gonna put it on the ground for now that is so pretty uh that is definitely inspired by the cool prints i don't know if i said that already or not let's see next thing i feel in this box is another uh cardboard box it says owl Creek on the front like always and this one says court of dreams displayed board this displayed board is bright enough to rival the city of starlight the first a lick arc lick board features gorgeous artwork that will transport you right into the depths of prithen we left the second board blank for you to channel your inner Vera and create your own masterpiece or use it just to dot down notes on your TBR list. Officially licensed and inspired item by Sarah J. Mass, A Quarter Thorns and Roses series, which if you guys don't know, I absolutely love that whole series, even though I have not read um, A Quarter Silver Flames yet. Does anybody want to buddy read that with me? Uh, I want to read it this year. I must read it this year. Um, but once I heard there was a Sarah J Mass item in here, I knew instantly that like a bunch of my friends would love this item, especially my friend Kaylani over at Kaylani Simply Me. 
Let's see if I can get this out. Ooh, it's another one of those uh, things we had from another box. That's interesting. Oh, and it comes with the whiteboard marker. Ooh, pretty. So let's see. It says uh, Night Triumph for this one. And then this one is blank, so it can just be for like whatever you want to write on it. That is pretty. And then it would just plug into somewhere and then it would turn on and off as a light. So that's really cool. Really neat. I'll definitely use these. Uh, I just need to find like extension cords that I have somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where to put things. <clears throat> Next item I see. Oh, we're actually getting down to the book, which is a very gorgeous, a totally different cover than the original, which is why I love Owl Crate. And then we have the monthly pamphlet here. And then the monthly theme for, for next month. So the book for January 2023 is The Buried and the Bound by Rochelle Hansen. Hansen. Um, this is an Owl Crate exclusive sign edition, which I love it when they come sign. It says the Bury in the Bound of bonus content by R Rochelle Hansen exclusively for Owl Crate ex subscribers. Ooh. Scan the QR code to access any additional scenes set after the book. Ooh, that would be fun for me to discover after I read this. Let's see if I can tear this open without having to get my keys. Yay, I can. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to sniffle slash sneeze on camera. But anyways, this says, you understand power, all living things do, all dead things too. And this is the, on the back it says, the buried and the bound bonus content by Rochelle, Rochelle Hunt. Hassan, I think. I'm so sorry. Exclusively for Owl Crate subscriber. And then there's a QR code on the back of this. And this is what this looks like without the plastic wrap on it. It's very gorgeous. It's a first book in a brand new fantasy series as well. Um, so that's pretty exciting. On the back it says, Come Back to the Forest, which if you know anything about me as well, you know I love me a good forest setting books. Uh, oh! Ooh. Gorgeousness. It says, you were all the magic I ever needed. Aww. And it says on the back, this book is a property of the Bridget Book Bishop Memorial Library. Please return to the 459 Foxhole Lane, Blackthorn, Massachusetts. Interesting. Uh, so I'm guessing there's like a bookshop that's involved. Look at this cute art print. Yes. I love that. Oh, that's interesting. I was wondering where the author letter was. So the author letter is on the inside now, which is really cool. Uh, I always love reading these. And it's signed by the author, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't really know too much about this book. I didn't even know it was being released this year until I saw a lot of people um, guessing what it could be. And yeah, it's, here's a different scene that's from the book very pretty and then i saw on the dust jacket is some beautiful artwork like look at that it looks like a scary scene that's about to happen um i'm excited to see what this is all about let me put this back on no do not fall oh my god why do i always struggle on camera So this says, this says, as the only hedge witch in Blackthorn, Massachusetts, an uncommonly ma magical place, Azria L. Emmy has bargained with the wood nymph, rescued palm-sized fairies from the house cats, and banished flesh-eating uh, from the house cat, or flesh-eating shadows from the local park. 
But when a dark entirety awakens in the forest outside of the town, enduring the boundary between the human world and fairyland, run off the mill, fae mission shift turns out into outright aggressions and the danger to herself and others becomes too great for Azriel to handle alone. So, yeah, it seems like there's going to be some hard names to pronounce in there, and I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but I'm so excited to read this. This sounds really good. It sounds right up my alley. Um, it's set in the woods, happens to be a hero's journey type of thing. So I cannot wait to see what this is about. And yeah, this is the January 2023 book, and we're starting off strong with a YA fantasy. Um, I'm excited to see what the rest of the picks are going to be like. So as always with the Owl Crate monthly pamphlet, you get the what the original cover looks like, which is very different from the Owl Crate. So this is Owl Crate's cover, obviously, and then this is the original cover. There's also also an author interview with the author, obviously, um, and it says if you like. Uh, the Buried and the Bound tried these great reads. The Crew Prince, uh, A Rosemary and Rue. I never heard of that. Oh, but it's by Shauna McGuire. Interesting. Uh, Julie Kagawa's The Iron King, which I actually own The Iron King, so I might do that. And then it has an interview with one of the vendors. Um, and then there's monthly photo prompts, and it's time for another Owl Babble. This is happening sometimes in February, so look forward to their Instagram page. And then there's a playlist that you can listen to while you read this book. Um, and other releases they're excited about this month is Song of Silver, Flame Like Night, The Stolen Air, Unseelie, Hellbent, and City of Nightmares, which is actually all on my list as well. So that's really cool. And then next month's theme I'm actually really excited for, but cannot think of what the book will be. Owl Crate's February theme is Magic and Mischief. Um, it says every February box will include a cozy blanket designed by a forensic and flowers. And if you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically, automatically be renewed. Um, so that's very exciting. That was everything in the Owl Crate unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick, easy, fun video I like to do every month. And I'm going to go and read now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you notice anything different in the background, please try and point that out. And let me. I would love to see if you guys can figure out what's different. And I'll talk to you guys down in the comments below. If you got this box, let me know what your favorite item was. I think I love their new monthly pens they're doing. Or the cup. I don't know. Maybe even the tote bag might be my favorite. But I don't know. It was just overall a great box. And I can't wait to read The Buried and The Bound. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys down in the comments below. Have a great day or night. Have a great day or night. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.